I S U P K. sisters this is once again the hebrews light breaking news proving to you that the bible the so-called scriptures in the king james version is the only looks like is the most accurate and is the only true book on the planet earth all right we're going to get that moab this is from fox news world okay moab damage in afghanistan extreme widespread so as you just heard they just dropped the largest ever non-nuclear weapon used in combat on the so-called afghanistanis this is going to prove to you a lot of things. Listen here. It's going to prove who the dragon is, and it's going to prove who the devil is, because you have in your mind from Christian dogma that the devil is some spirit or ghoul with pitchforks. What we are going to prove in this segment is that the devil is a man. He's a man, and he is a race of people on the earth. Okay? Let's read this article first. Exclusive, Kabul, Afghanistan. It has been one month since the U.S. dropped... The U.S. military dropped its largest non-nuclear combat weapon, the MOAB, to eradicate ISIS from its base in Afghanistan's Nangarhar province. So, there's a group of people that just dropped the MOAB bomb, largest non-nuclear weapon ever on the so-called Afghanistanis. We all know who those group of people are. We all know it. We're going to get it. It was Trump, Donald Trump and the so-called white man authorized that drop. That's who's in power. That's who's in charge of the earth right now. Not those stinking Africans, man. Not Kemet. Not the Arabs. The so-called white man. And still, the ghostly destruction zone is a vision that still haunts. It's like yeah, that haunts. So he didn't just he didn't just he wouldn't just drop a, a missile of that magnitude to kill eighty people. A lot of people died from that blast, man. He dropped something that created that created a, a, a large explosion. He dropped fire from he drops fire from the sky. That's what he does, man. And that's and that was prophesied in the scriptures that he would do that. Let's get to it. Hold on one second. This is Revelations, the thirteenth chapter, the eleventh verse. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. Okay, when you read in Revelations the twelfth and thirteenth chapter, you're going to read about a beast. What is that beast for time's sake? That beast is the uh, um, governments that came out of the Roman Empire. Okay, the so-called European governments you know of today, which are all ruled by who? The so-called white man, which do what? Drop bombs, right, and blow things up and make large, uh, leave large paths of destruction, right? They do that. That's what the beast does, man. Okay. He saw, and I beheld another, is Revelations 13 and 11, and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb. What does America like to do? What does the so-called white man like to do? He likes to make himself look like a lamb. Oh, it's okay, these police shootings, we'll, we'll get it on it. It's just a few of us, we just made mistakes. We love democracy, and we love spreading the idea of peace on earth. We want all nations, all nations and all groups of people to come together. We want equal rights for men and women. He speaks like a lamb. He speaks like he's so peaceful, right? So like he looks like a lamb, so like he, he looks like a lamb. Based off how he 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 um he makes himself appear. And he spake as a dragon, meaning what? He says what? Drop the Moab bomb on those Afghanistanis. Things that come out of his mouth destroy people in the same way that fire destroys people that comes from a dragon's mouth. You get the point? Making a similitude here. He's making it's a simile. The so-called white man, what he says, what comes out of his mouth, 
destroys people like a dragon's fire, man. Like dragon's breath. Like dragon's fire, man. That's what the so-called white man is. He does that. No other race of the people does that. Kemet didn't do this, so-called. The so-called Africans didn't do this. So-called Arabs didn't do this. But the white man. The white man is the beast. Okay? Verse 12. And he exercises all the power of the first beast before him. We just broke down what the first beast was. The first beast is Rome. Okay, in the Roman Empire. And who exercises that power of the first beast? America does. To down to their legislature, meaning what? America is a republic. Guess who else was a republic? Rome. Okay, they enact the same policies. And the and the town to the architecture. The architecture is the same as the architecture in Rome with these obelisks, um, with their White House, etc. It's the same as the buildings in Rome. Okay, so he exercised all the power of the first beast. Down, down to the brick that's on their build that's on their grand buildings. He does the same thing the Roman Empire did. Okay? And causes the earth and then which dwell therein to worship the first beast. If you're in so called um, Egyptology, if you're a so called uh, Afrocentrist, if you're a Christian, Muslim, you worship the first beast. You worship Rome. That's what you do. Okay, he exercised all the power of the first beast before him to worship heathen nations, to worship Africans, to worship Arabs, to worship Rome. And that's what all of you, those people that are in that are doing. Okay, we just read it. He said he causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. Healed. We're in Revelations 13 and 13. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. What did they do with the Moab bomb? The largest non-nuclear bomb ever used in combat. That was fire that came down from from, from above, from the so-called sky, from the atmosphere. They dropped the bomb from the sky and it blew something up. It made fire. They dropped the nuclear bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki and it blew up. It made fire. There's a man on the earth, not a spirit on the earth, that makes fire come down from heaven. Who's that man? The so-called white man. All right? You just broke down who drops fire from heaven on men. Who dropped the nuclear bomb on Nagasaki and Hiroshima? Who dropped the Moab bomb in Afghanistan? That man was the so-called white man. He's the first beast. He was the second beast in the form of, of America. Okay. And he is, he, he's the dragon. He drops, uh, it's like the beast. He drops fire come from, he drops fire from heaven. Who, what else drops fire from heaven? A dragon, right? Once again, we said this wasn't literally talking about a dragon. Revelations 12 and 9. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil. So that great dragon. So we just broke down the so-called white man through the Moab bomb, through Hiroshima and Nagasaki, causes fire to come down from heaven. He does that. Well, because he does that, he is called in the scriptures and revelations, the great dragon. He was cast out. Meaning what? Here, this is talking about when he loses his rulership. That old serpent. Okay, because of Christian dogma, once again, you believe the serpent in the garden of Adam and Eve in the book of Genesis was a actual snake. It was not. It was a man that is, it is like a, a snake. He bites you, he stabs you in the back. Who's that man? That's the so-called white man. He's the serpent. Why? Because he's the great dragon. He makes fire come down from heaven. He is, and guess what? That old serpent called the devil. That old serpent is called the devil. That great dragon, the man that drops fire from the sky in Hiroshima, the man that dropped the Moab bomb on Afghanistan is the great dragon, and he is the devil. The so-called, what you just saw with this dropping of the Moab bomb, prove to you that the so-called white man is the great dragon and the so-called white man is the devil that the bible speaks of we just read it he drops fire from heaven and he is called the devil and he is called satan man so the devil is not some some red spirit with pitchforks it's a man it's a he's a man he causes fire to come from heaven and he destroys god's chosen people the blacks hispanics and native american indians he shoots them in the back. He locks them up in prison. He starves them. He puts them in slavery for 400 years. That's what the so-called white man does. He's the dragon. And with this article, the so-called white man is the devil. We just proved that, right? 
He's the dragon. He makes what? He makes fire come from he makes fire come from heaven. He dropped the Moab bomb. Not the Arabs. Not Kemet. The so-called white man dropped this Moab bomb on Kabul, Afghanistan. He's the great dragon and he's the devil. Shalom, brothers and sisters.